Hello everybody. Happy New Year. Happy 2016. I hope your 2016 has started well. This is an update sort of mental health start of the year video. My mental health situation has improved um, massively. I'm really shocked at how quickly things have started to turn around in my mentality and just my confidence and the way that I feel about things. First of all, my Christmas was absolutely wonderful. I spent two days at my sister's house um, just before Christmas. So that was when was Christmas Eve was the Thursday, right? Christmas Eve was Thursday. I went to my sister's Tuesday and Wednesday, stayed there, cycled back home, then went to my parents on Christmas Eve, spent Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and most of Boxing Day there. So I had five days with my family. My sister came to my parents house Christmas morning stayed overnight stayed till Boxing Day so it was kind of like four or five days of just being with my family and even though they're my family in the past because of my situation with my dissociative disorder I've always dreaded being around people to a certain extent I've always not looked forward to it but this year I was really looking forward to spending time with everybody and I felt completely relaxed completely confident um, but the biggest thing, the biggest thing for me was that the whole time that I was with my family for those sort of four and a half, five days, I didn't, my mind didn't drift away. I didn't sort of drift off into that other world with these other characters. My dissociative disorder was pretty much um, non-existent. It, it didn't really happen, which is wonderful. Um, the only time that I did drift away slightly was when I got into bed at night but that's fine um, the work that I've been doing with the man who's helping me has told me all about imagination and fantasy and there's nothing wrong with having an imagination and fantasizing and daydreaming and quite often he said you know when you get into bed at night a lot of people will often lay in bed dreaming of something else not sleep dreaming but you know when you lay in bed awake you tend to drift off into things and that's fine but um, my dissociative disorder pretty much was non-existent and I felt so clear-headed like waking up in the morning at my parents house having breakfast talking with my mum dad and sister opening presents Christmas lunch eating a Christmas kind of buffet dinner even though you know in the evening even though you didn't really want to because you were still a fool from your Christmas lunch but you do it anyway I was completely present and that was absolutely wonderful um, so that was that was massive and I had a great Christmas and then I think possibly the biggest breakthrough was New Year's Day I was invited well me and my mum dad and sister were invited to go to my cousin's house my cousin her husband her one and a half year old son and my aunt uh, we were invited to go there just sort of late afternoon and have a sort of buffet tea and drinks and just sort of welcome in the new year on New Year's Day, so to speak. And normally when I've been invited to go to my cousins or anyone else, I say no and I make up an excuse because, you know, I'm just so terrible when I drift away. I don't want to be around people. But this year I went. Um, because I wanted to go and that's the big thing I'm I find myself I've gone from not being excuse me I've gone from not wanting to be around people to suddenly wanting to be around people which is a massive shift for me and that is definitely the thing that is helping to destroy this dissociative disorder so I went to my cousins there was food and drink those kind of things a lot of my anxieties are based around in the past have been based around being out and eating and drinking and, and stuff like that. I had no anxiety on the evening at all. I spoke to everyone, I laughed, I joined in, I was completely relaxed. Again, my mind didn't drift away, I didn't become other personalities, I didn't feel like I needed to get out of the room and go somewhere because my brain was trying to drag me away into these other places. I just had a wonderful time at my cousin's and I got in the car, you know, to come home and I just sat in the back of the car and I just thought, wow, that was amazing. That would not have happened two months ago. 
two, three months ago, a year ago, three years ago, I wouldn't have been able to have done that. Because first of all, I would have turned down the invitation because I would have dreaded being around people. And secondly, I would have been too nervous to go anyway. And I just felt so good. When I got home, I got into bed and I just laid there and I had a massive smile on my face. Like literally my face was aching because my smile was so big. Um, I just felt so brilliant to have done that. It might not sound like much of an achievement to a lot of you to just go to someone's house and eat and drink and take part in conversation, but I haven't been able to do it for so many years and to be able to do that suddenly was just extraordinary. It just made me so happy. Um, so yeah, I've had a pretty good start to 2016. I feel good. I feel positive. I am not... I'm not drifting away into those other worlds anymore, apart from just occasionally I find myself, you know, drifting slightly into these other worlds and these other personalities that I have just start to come in. They're just, it's almost as if they're sort of back here somewhere in the back of my brain and they're trying to fight their way forward. But the another big change is that I recognize that that's coming on and I can actually stop it now whereas two or three months ago when I felt these personalities when I felt myself drifting away I couldn't stop myself and they would just come in and I would just sit on my own and be miserable but I would be somebody else inside my own head you know but I can stop that now um, and as I said it's hardly happening it's extraordinary to me. I'm absolutely stunned and shocked how quickly things have turned around. I mean, if you're a regular viewer and you were watching the videos I was making in October and November, you will know just how low and, and awful I felt and how bad my situation was. I was spending all day, all night, sitting in my flat on my own, just drifting away into these other worlds, being these other personalities. And now this other world, this fantasy world, these other personalities, they hardly, they hardly show up at all. Occasionally they do, but then I can just stop them. I can actually just say no and just put a stop to it. As I said, the only time I drift away a little bit is when I go to bed at night, but I've learned that that's fine. And I think that that's an important lesson that I've learned as well. The lesson that I've learned from this man that helps me is that is that, you know, daydreaming and having fantasies about being other people is perfectly normal. The brain does that normally. Most of us, how many of you watching this video have been sitting at work or sitting on a bus or a train and stared out the window and for, for a few minutes you're not at your desk, you're somebody else, you're a millionaire sitting on a beach in the sun, you know, sipping a drink, you know, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that kind of level of daydream and just thinking, oh, I'm somebody else doing something else, but then you snap back into it and you're back at work and you carry on. The problem that I had is that I was entering that world of fantasy and daydream and staying there for days and months on end, not being able to function. That's been a complete reversal. And I feel really confident. I feel confident when I go out, you know, I feel like I want to go places now where there are people so that I can talk to people, which again, two, three months ago, just wasn't possible. I was avoiding all human contact. So that's a good start to 2016. I'm very happy, feeling better. I'm much more in the present. I feel like I have the confidence that I can beat anything now that, that my brain throws at me. I know that I'm going to beat it completely. I know that, that you know, you, you may be watching this and thinking, wow, Mark's cured. I'm not cured. Um, I know that I still have a dissociative disorder and I know that I still have to work at it and I'm learning all these important lessons of how the brain works and I'm being taught these exercises, mental exercises that you can do. But the most important thing is that everything I've learned is working and I'm getting better like every day. Every day I feel a little bit better and today I woke up at seven o'clock and I just felt like I wanted to get out of bed and get the day started and, and accomplish something, which is something that hasn't happened for many months, possibly really years when I look back. 
So I know I'm not cured, I know there's still a way to go, but things are getting better. Things are improving. I feel like a human being. More importantly, I feel like a human being who wants to be in the same world as other human beings. And I want to talk to people and I want to communicate and I want to just be with people, which is a complete change. So that's my start to 2016. Um, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who are my regular viewers and who watch my videos. 2015 was such a hard year. There were times when I no longer wanted to be here. There were times when, you know, I could quite easily have just done something very, very silly um, to take away all my pain. And I have to say that the people who watch my videos and send me messages, you all made it much, much easier for me. You all did help me, your comments, your messages, your support. Um, you know, it, it all helped me. So thank you so much to all of you. All the best for 2016.